Hey YouTube, it's me, Kirby. Welcome to Kirby Q. Today I'm going, I'm going to be doing some sweet and sour pork shish kebabs. Sweet and sour pork shish kebabs. It's going to be a real quick cook. Um, it's Friday night, the weekend going into Memorial Day. And of course, the meat that I'm going to be using on this shish kebab is um, pork. It's some of that pork loin meat that I did that I cut off um, my ribs a few weeks ago and I did those St. Louis style cut um, orange ginger ribs. So um, I'm going to be using some of that pork loin meat for the shish kebabs and then the other, the rest of the, um, there's a lot of meat. The rest of it, I'm just going to go ahead and grill it and um, put some barbecue sauce on. Nothing real special, just to have it so we can snack on um, throughout the weekend. Uh, I'm going to conclude my uh, month of taping of, of pork products. Of course, you can't do pork without doing pork butt. So uh, I'm going to smoke me two pork butts. I'm going to do one that's... Um, where the sauce is going to be kind of original to our region here in Virginia and you know, the southern states where it's going to have a vinegar based sauce and the other one I'm going to explore as you know barbecue is regional and each region has its different flavor so I'm going to go more towards the um, uh, the, the regular barbecue uh, uh, tomato based sauce on the second pork butt alright with that being said let's get started with this cook All right. Okay, here are our ingredients for these um, sweet and sour shish ke pork shish kebabs. And here's some of the pork loin meat that I cut up into about one inch um, square pieces. I got some chicken that I'm going to add to it just to mix it up for my wife. Got some mushrooms, some Vidalia onions, some yellow, red, and orange peppers just to add some color um, to the shish kebabs. I'm going to sauce them with this. I hope you can see that. It's a uh, World's Harbors Maui Mountain, Maui Mountain, sorry, sweet and sour sauce. I'm going to um, coat them with this for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to baste them while they're on a um, grill also. Alright, let's put a skewer together. I'm going to take an onion. Go ahead and Ram that through an onion. Gonna do a mushroom. Do a piece of chicken. And of course you can dress these up however you like it. A pepper and a piece of pork loin meat. And we're just going to repeat. Now, this pork loin meat, I had um, seasoned it. Well, not seasoned it, but I marinated it in some raspberry vinaigrette um, salad dressing. So it's been marinated in that. Time. I'm just going to end the skewer with a piece of pineapple on it. Alright. And that's our first skewer. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest, and then I'll show you the finished product. Alright, 
Okay, there we go. Thanks to a little bit of TV magic, they're done. All right, I'm now going to uh, just let them, uh, I'm going to put them in the sweet and sour sauce in a bag for about 20-30 minutes, and then I'm going to throw them on the grill. So my next uh, shot will be out at the grill. All right. Okay, I got everything on the grill. There are my sweet and sour barbecue pork um, shish kebabs. That's some of that loin meat that's left over. We're going to grill that up. Throw some barbecue sauce on that. Just add that this snack to munch on when I'm hanging around the house. And a few pieces of chicken that we had left from the skewers. So I just thought I'd go and grill them up and probably just seal those up for later on in the week. All right, I'm estimating probably going to take me about an hour, hour and a half for everything to be done. So I'll see you then, okay? I don't know if you heard me over that vehicle, but um, yeah. So all right, see you in a few. Okay, this is the final product of my sweet and sour pork shish kebabs. Came out as you. I got distracted, so they burnt a little. But um, other than that, a few I've tasted, a few pieces I've tasted. Um, it's pretty good. Got to give um, high marks to this uh, sweet and sour um, Maui Mountain sweet and sour sauce. Uh, it's pretty good on it. So um, that concludes this cook. Me and my wife are going to have dinner. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you for watching Kirby Q. Please subscribe and I will see you later.